<laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Dan Hunt. I'm Alex Bigley. And we are here because it's that time of the month again. It's Japan Break for May 2018. As a description box serves, we get all kinds of great Japanese snacks. We're from Osaka, Japan, one low price. And as usual, we'll be going in the order of mini items for the mini crate, then the items added for original, then the items added for premium. Now, this is special. One, it's Japan Crate. It's only special. Two, a couple of days ago was this guy's birthday. He turned 38. Turned old. He became even older. So, as my little sort of gift to him, since I was unable to really get anything else, I'm going to give him the gift that I give him every month. But there's a difference. He does not know what he does not know what was in the box. Which is so, kind of what we've been doing for the past couple months. But okay. <laughs> no, I mean especially now. Okay. Uh, and first up, if you will show this item, I, I put these I put these face down so he didn't know. Ooh. Uh, Mitarashi Dango Caramel Corn. We've Ooh, had some right of this before. Uh, Mitarashi Dango are a traditional Japanese sweet that you can buy in any places, from a market stand to a local restaurant. Fan favorite, Tohato Caramel Corn, has combined their classic crunchy texture with these uniquely Japanese sweets. And as usual, we do have drinks. We have a pair of scissors to cut these packages open, and a knife to cut the food, and a plate to cut it on, and paper towels because, you know, cleanliness. Yeah. You know that. That's to be clean Ooh, that's. Is it crunchy? No, it smells like. It smells familiar, but I can't place it. Soy sauce? Yeah. A little like soy sauce. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense for caramel corn. Well, it's a, keep in mind, this is Mitarashi Dango uh, flavor. I don't know what that means. Caramel corn is just, it's just a name. No, caramel corn is caramel corn. I forgot to get this here. It's got a bit of a, ooh. Ooh, that, oh, I tasted some sauce right there on my tongue. It's got a, my first thought was tangy. Might not be the right word. That's really good. I like that sauce. It's, it's, it's sweet and yet savory at the same time. Oh. Mm. That is, wow. Wow, we're off to a great start. That is, wow. It has sort of like a deep, um, like a dark um, flavor to it. Like, almost like, um, very similar to Cracker Jacks. Uh, the coating on that. Yes! Yes, but it's also, but it's more savory as well. So it does have maybe like a slight, um, maybe like even a slight soy sauce. To I it. didn't like so, Cracker Jacks. I like that. I don't know, but that's um, um you, you left your that. Off. It doesn't matter. Um, tell me how something works. Next. next up is this. Uh, I'm reading all of these because he doesn't know what's in the box. So it's grape gum. These are all gifts for him. These are. This is sour long grape gum. Yeah, it was close. A sour <laughs> twist on grapes. This gum packs a punch at first, but quickly turns sweet. And I'll, 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 we've, we've had. I think we've had one of these before. It's not necessarily um, grape. We've had other flavors of this. I think at least one. I think maybe two. But it's been so long, man. You know how long we've been doing this? Great turn. The first Japan <laughs> we did. I swear to you, and I, I didn't mention this um, last month's with last month's box videos. Our first Japan crate was April 2015. Oh, wow. We've been doing this for three years. We've been doing this for pretty much three years. Yeah. Interesting. I feel old. Yeah. Oh. Smell it. Mm. Mm. Definitely got that great stuff to it. Kind of reminds me of Haichu. A little, a little a sour, a bit of sour Haichu. Which, by the way, if you haven't had Haichu, really good. Haichu has a better flavor than a stronger flavor, I think. I don't mind this though. It's got a stronger flavor does not necessarily mean better. Sometimes a milder flavor can produce a better experience. Yeah, it depends on what it is. It also depends on someone's mood, you know, they don't want something something strong might something mild might might do better for one person rather than another. Personal taste. But yeah, I really like that. Alright. So what's next? Still got my mouth. Um uh, send right there. You want me to read it or you going to read it? Um, did you want to read some of these? Or? No, I mean, it's up to you. Do you know what's in it? No. 
Okay. Uh, I, I want to give these as gifts to him, so, you know, that's fair. Okay, uh, I don't so know which way this goes. That this is right side up right uh, Petite strawberry milk. This milky strawberry hard candy yeah, has been around since 1970. It does mention 1970 on the package. Uh, its strawberry flavor is sourced from Kyushu Islands, Fukuoka Prefecture, north of Okinawa Islands. Yeah, you would have been like, I can't read all this Japanese here. <laughs> These are... Wow. These are... Are they heart shaped? Well, they're, they're like little triangles and it's got an S emblazoned on it. So, one, it looks like classic uh, Golden Age Superman, but no, his logo. But also, it reminds me of the old Vix, uh, yes, like lozenges that used to look like this and had a V in it. Uh, did you want to split one? Or? Yeah, let's see if we can split it. Um, I do kind of want to speed these up a little bit because. Um, I was looking at the it's got like some white powder. I was looking at the comments of one of our other videos, and someone suggested that. So. We're good. Strawberry, milky strawberry hard candy. Yeah, I think we had something similar there before. For sure. I don't want to spend all day crunching on that. That's not going to be fun. Um, next up is. My fourth gift to you in this box is Giddy! Um, Fufu Omikuchi Lucky Candy. These purple grit candies change colors and flavors to tell your fortune. We had some of those in this last box. But, um, if the candy turns red, you'll have an awesome strawberry flavored lucky day. If it turns. You know what? Actually, it gives flavor. The flavor is. Your luck is dependent on what flavor. <coughs> so you know what? I'm not going to say anything else. It's purple on the outside. That doesn't make a difference at all. Um, I can tell you, grape is not one of the flavors. So I don't think the center would tell you anything. That would dip the last one. We did, did, did. Oh, no, it was just the color of the orb itself, not the not the center of the orb. You want to pause this? Yes. Okay, so look. Oh yeah, that. Got it. Got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. It so took, it took like twenty minutes, but uh, still smells like strawberry. Oh. I don't know how it's supposed to change color, but no. It's red to me. I guess. Um, if it's red, you'll have an awesome strawberry flavor lucky day. If it turns yellow, you will have lemon flavored good luck. And if it turns green, you'll have green apple flavored basic luck. But at least the flavor is super delicious. So totally when I started, notice notice that I stopped part with. I didn't really read the description. I think the only thing I scanned over was to see if there was any word mention of the word chocolate. Chocolate, boom, right in the fridge. Okay, next. Next up is this, which sadly got broken in shipping, and I was the description. My description was explain why. Okay. Mori's fruit, M O R I. Um, these little fruit mochi candies in a wafer look like a delicious fruit basket you might find in a fruit stand. The toothpick included is perfect for finger-free eating. The uh, wafery bits, that was supposed to be a fruit basket. Well, okay. broke them shit. Which is kind of, which is a shame because, um, but yeah, these are, uh, I'm guessing, assorted for flavors. Based right, on well, the packaging and the color. I mean, this is basically um, a wafer. Yeah, like a ice cream cone sort of material. Ice cream cone sort of material. Have a stale ice cream cone, <laughs> but what? Um, oh, oh! You know what this feels like? Yeah, I know. It feels like those UFO things. So, what color uh, mochi do you want? Are these they assorted? You said. 
I feel like peanut butter really outside thing here. Ah. Uh, it's pink. Pink. Let's let's see what we got here. We got uh button for one second. We have pink, green, yellow. That's it. Pink, green, and yellow. Okay. So let's 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 see that you get a pink and you should get a green and you get yellow. I did pink first. Yeah, I already got it. Oh. Sort of cherry possibly. Uh, cherry. The only good fruit I'm seeing here is apple. Hmm. You know what these me of? Shape wise? Texture wise? Chicken cheese looks yeah. Yeah. Texture's a lot better though than a regular mochi. Yeah. We had mochi stuff before and it was kind of goopy. Goopy. Yeah. Not too bad. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's so good. Ooh. I like that. Nice. A nice. yellow banana. Did I get yellow? I didn't. That's interesting. I wouldn't imagine it would be bad. Well, based on the, based on the stuff there. Okay. All right. What's next? Or is that it? That's it for me. Okay. Um, best and worst. Here's the end. Um, Oh, I'd have to say best is probably this. Agree. Spit mochi all over myself. Least favorite would probably be the lucky candy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm not really a big big person on um, hard candies. I mean, so. other than I consider the wafer part of this of the, of the well, I mean, fruit to be. To be just, all together, it's not that bad. No, I would say. So the fruit, the fruit mochi, fine. Yeah, Wafer felt and written tasted like those 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 styrofoam UFO things. Yeah. So, yeah. but this does have a peanut butter taste to it, which I find interesting. I didn't know this happened at all. We didn't let it dissolve. <laughs> Sorry. Don't like, I don't like wafer. I don't like wafer. Like anyway, anyway, that is the mini Japan grape. If you want one of your own, go to JapanGrape.com. Link in the description. Link downstairs. Uh, costs twelve dollars US, including shipping. And I believe it ships anywhere in the world. Um, so That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, just catch us in the next video, which will the addition exploring the original crate, yes. or come out next month to see us try out the uh, next mini crate. If you want to definitely see more of these, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, do, you know all that wonderful stuff. And we'll see you next time for more Japan Crate. Bye. Bye.